All right, $80,000 a year for tuition. And this basically includes your room and board and your books and your fees. But Georgetown was very expensive. In this video, I'm gonna talk about whether it was worth it or not to go to a medical school that was that expensive. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, $80,000 to go to medical school at Georgetown is basically what I paid to go to medical school. Um, I got a lot of questions about whether someone should choose a school that has very expensive tuition just for the name and prestige or go to a school that's cheaper. And my thoughts, these are just my thoughts, someone else may be different. I, if I had to do it all over again, I would have went to a school to save money. Coming out of medical school with $400,000, $500,000 in debt is not an uncommon these days. And it's not a good position that you want to be in uh, coming out of your residency, having all these loans. So if I had to do it all over again, I would have chosen a school with a cheaper tuition, such as a state school or a school that offers you more scholarships more fun, or more um, assistance with your tuition. The reason why I say that is because if you pay $70,000 to go to Harvard for medical school and you score a 205 on your boards, you're going to have a hard time getting into a residency program. Just because you went to Harvard doesn't mean that it will necessarily help you when it comes to getting a residency position. The name does matter. I agree with that. Georgetown is a really uh, well-known school. Harvard, Yale, Columbia. Stanford, those are well-known uh, places and good places to train. But if you have an option to go to a school that you can save $40,000 a year over the course of four years as $160,000, uh, I would suggest doing that versus going to a school just because of the name. After medical school, you go to residency. So even if you go to I don't know, a uh, no-name medical school, you get into a good residency program, you can go to a residency program with a very good name and then say you're Stanford trained or Harvard trained. Or even after that, if you go to a fellowship, say for instance, you went to a no-name medical school, no-name residency, but you went to Harvard for your fellowship, you can say you're Harvard trained. So that, that's why the reason why I don't think it's worth it to go to a medical school just for the name. Go to a school where you can save money, in the end, you will thank yourself and just work hard. Step one, scores and your board scores are more important. So a student who goes to a no-name school and gets a 260, 270 on his step one is going to have a higher chance of matching than someone who went to Stanford and scores a 205. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you next time.